Hey y'all, so uh, got a new package in the middle today. This package is in reference to some reloading equipment of mine. So for the past few years, I've been on the fence about getting a concentricity gauge. And it's something that recently I knew that I wanted to get. And I've looked at all different kind of models. I've looked at, I've been on the forums. I've been asking questions. I've talked to friends. That, that use them, it just just asking everybody that I could that I could find that knows about them and that uses them, um, what they thought about them, why they use the ones that they use and why they did what they did with them, and um, I uh, I narrowed mine down to three that I wanted to get, and the three that I narrowed mine down to were the Sinclair International, the 21st Century, and the Accuracy One. Now, it's it's a huge huge price difference when you go from the Sinclair International to the 21st century and the Accuracy One, um, the, uh, the prices are just, they're, they're very far apart. Um, so, but after putting everything together and getting all the information that I wanted, putting it together and getting what I wanted out of it, I narrowed mine down to the 21st century and that's what's in this box. So I wanted to do a quick unboxing on it and that's what we're gonna do real quick. I already got all the labels and everything off of it. So I wanted to do a quick unboxing and see what's in here and let y'all see it with me. So let's do that. Bunch of bubble wrap, bunch of popcorn. Turning wheel for it. Concentricity gauge wheel. I got that to go with it. Oh man, cool pin. Look at that. Cool pin right there. This looks like the uh, dial test indicator. Yep. That's very well packaged, but it's all a bunch of foam inside of that box. Put a bunch more popcorn in there. You want some? So we got our gauge wheel, got the dial test indicator, and then we got the concentricity gauge mount itself here. Give y'all some close ups of it here in just a minute. Car, it's one of their other, that's one of their neck turning lathe tools that they use, they make. Right there. Some screws, that must be for torquing it down to the bench. There it is. This thing don't weigh. This thing does not weigh that much at all. It's very, very lightweight. That's it. Right 
Sorry, we got some more lighting. Some better lighting in here. There we go. Your roller bearings there for your brass where you put your bullet and all. Um, a little bit better lighting. Get your dial. Very well packaged. It's good to see that package like that. Very good to see that package like that. And then uh, here's your gauge wheel right here so let's see that yeah. and of course you get this cool little pin with it um well guys that's it i'm gonna get this put together and uh hopefully we can get to using it here very 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 soon uh probably start using it today um Probably get a couple rounds put on it and get them tested out, see how well it's going to work, and see uh, see if it's going to do everything I wanted it to do. So, uh, well, guys, I appreciate it. Appreciate y'all looking at it with me. And um, if y'all have any questions, I'll be happy to try and answer them. Um, if y'all are looking at getting one and you know want to know anything about it, uh, just let me know if you got any questions, and I'll uh, try to answer them the best that I can. And if I can't, I'll uh, hopefully I can send you in the right direction to get the answer you're looking for. All right, guys, well, I appreciate it, and uh, y'all have a good day.